Hey guys, I'm Cody Osborne with Hammerly Arms. So today we want to show you this bad boy right here. It's the mm -hmm. Force B1 22LR. Mm -hmm. See this first thing? Straight pull, rim fires. Awesome, fast, accurate. Lock this thing up, shoot it with a can, it's ultra quiet. So, two biggest things on this. Yes, the straight pull action, but two, check this out. Oh, nice. So we can actually swap this from 22LR to 22 Magnum. All right, so we geared this thing up with a quick detach barrel. That actually just drops right in and then locks right into place, just like that. So now we can go from 22 to 22 Magnum. We can go from a standard lightweight barrel up to a match grade barrel, any of that stuff with no tools necessary. And to do that, you only need to purchase the additional barrel and that's it. Yep. That's and you it. can do both calibers, 22 and 22 Magnum. Yep. So, so 22 be... for plinking and 22 Magnum, it's already kind of small game hunting. Yep, exactly. Yeah. You can go from a squirrel gun to a coyote gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've done this with, these are Ruger 1022 mags, it actually accepts. So mm -hmm. we have an adapter piece that comes in the box with the gun to actually make it work with the 22 LR because you see the mm -hmm. magwell is cut out for 22 Magnum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Ruger 1022 Magnum magazines will actually fit in this as well. So. Mm -hmm. Now we got both different styles and we can operate them both on the same platform. So those are two big features, straight pull, quick detach barrel. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it from the outside on the mm -hmm. more standard features here, threaded barrel. Oh, even the threaded barrel. Yep. So it's a suppressor ready, integrated uh, Picatinny rail for optics mounting. Mm -hmm. We have a ambidextrous magazine release that's down here mm -hmm. on the trigger guard. Nice. The trigger itself is takes a Ruger aftermarket 1022 triggers. So mm -hmm. if you have a Timney or any of that stuff, you can drop right into this. Mm -hmm. The stock, we have more of a vertical grip design here and a toolless adjustment on length of pull. Ooh, nice. And we have a toolless option to actually change the comb of this uh, mm -hmm. to a more extended version. Which is hard to do with one hand. Yeah, with one, one hand, hand here, well, yeah. If you, you have it on out, your table. Flip it over. Yeah. And you can actually service. see the, uh, the models here that yeah. have the, uh, the extended. Hey everybody, just a quick note. Firearms Guide is the world's largest searchable guns and ammo technical reference guide and gun values guide that presents over 80,000 antique and modern firearms, air guns, and ammo with tech specs, high-res images, features, ballistics, prices, and gun values from 100% to 30%. It has the largest professional gunsmithing library with over 23,000 printable gun manuals, schematics, parts lists, and old catalogs. See why all gunsmiths have already subscribed. So join us at firearmsguide.com. That's firearmsguide.com. Yeah, perfect. And is this straight pull? First, it's a straight pull bolt action and it's hammerly. So I am immediately get the association, maybe that's some kind of a heritage from Olympic sports shooting rifles, yeah. Yep, it is. So and they have, to be, they have to be quick, they have to be smooth, they have to work in the snow, they have to be yeah. bulletproof basically exactly and mm -hmm. that's what usually when you saw this style of action mm -hmm. and you just start seeing them at a, a crazy price point right mm -hmm. so that's what we wanted to bring that down to a great mm -hmm. price point that you could actually get into and use for hunting and, and more so what's the price point so you're gonna see this msrp at 649 mm -hmm. so you're gonna see it on sale probably 599 yeah okay. right in there so and additional barrel if i want to buy 22 magnum yeah you're gonna see a target price right around 200 or below, 200 so. okay perfect yeah, yeah so and then you have two guns in one. Yes. Exactly. And that's, I think, especially can be interested, uh, interesting for the gun owners that are not based in US, yep. where you have limitation and then it's hard to have two guns. It's hard to have one gun yeah, and yeah, two, exactly. it's doubly. Yep. This way you can have legally one gun, but two calibers, which... And two, when you look at, you know, in the field, this is, mm -hmm. I've, I've done all this without a tool. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Change barrel, swap calibers. Yeah. Start shooting rabbits point. and then Coyote comes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty cool platform. We're really excited for this and the Hammerly Arms brand as well. But I mean, it's a, it's a well thought out gun, uh, mm -hmm. very accurate as well. So mm -hmm. you'll see it definitely uh, sub one inch at 50 yards, but some of your other ammo choices, I mean, we've gotten down to half inch uh, mm -hmm. groups at 50 yards as well. Yeah. So. It could even, for the people who don't know, Hammerly is a Swiss company or a German? So originally a Swiss company is mm -hmm. made in Germany though now. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, it's crazy. Hammerly Arms is a very very old company as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Uh, Olympic background stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, but we really wanted to kind of gear up Hammerly and get mm -hmm. it into the American U.S. market and start making stuff mm -hmm. for 
U.S. customers that we can actually get out. So you'll see the bolt gun, you'll see the Rimfire 1911s, you'll see the mm -hmm. you know Rimfire AR-15s down here, and you'll see the Hammerly Arms brand grow more and more mm -hmm. over the next few years. Yeah. So. Okay, maybe we can put the uh, rifle on the rack, and maybe yeah. you can show me a little bit about the pistols. Those are really cool. So 1911, mm -hmm. 22 caliber. On this really easy to shoot, actually entertains with a lot of your standard 1911 parts, so grip, safety. But that's basically the full size almost. Four, yeah. and, a four, yeah, four a, and a quarter? Four and a quarter four on this one. We have a five inch model as well. Even a five inch. Mm -hmm. And all in 22? Yep, all in rim fire. It's already threaded. You just put the half by 28 adapter on there and you can run it suppressed. Mm -hmm. And they're ultra reliable. Most of the time these rim fires are they get picky but yeah this thing ultra reliable like i said you're gonna get out and have no issues even in wrecking thing. the slide it goes extremely smooth which means yep. that yep. it's gonna work reliable even with the 22 exactly round. yep you actually have iron sights uh great grips you know like i said it's a it's a really great gun super fun to get out of the range we had it at a range day mm -hmm. people just would not stop shooting it it was a super fun gun to shoot so yeah that's the only affordable caliber yeah yeah exactly exactly <laughs> and plus so. when you have it in a 22 you know, form it's kind of you can really practice that yeah yeah you, exactly you're you know, changing much of course the recoil is better with the 45 but yeah this will fit in the same holsters though now, mm -hmm. so for training purposes yeah. you can, or just, like I said, for fun. What, what's the retail on this uh, uh, 1911s in 22? Yep, yep, you're going to see that retail right around $400, $420. Oh, that's also yep. pretty affordable, mm -hmm. especially. Those guns are also made in Germany? Yes. Okay, yep. so German, German quality. Here German in, quality. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst they still have a gas to run the machines, but that's yeah, another right. story, yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Cody, for this interview. No, thank you so much. <laughs>